Victoria's decision to abandon plans for a second safe injecting room has been criticised as four wasted years and $40 million. Our reporter, Georgia Simpson, has more. The location of a second safe injecting room has been a polarising topic that has divided the court of opinion and it's because of this that the state government has rejected Ken Lay's recommendation of setting up a second safe injecting room in Melbourne's CBD. Instead, they've decided to go ahead with a statewide action plan worth $95 million. The state government announced this today, almost a year after Ken Lay delivered his comprehensive report. This report detailed that there's been an increase in heroin use in Melbourne CBD, along with her and related deaths. It also detailed the positive uh, aspects of the North Richmond injecting room. It saved up to 63 lives and managed close to 6,000 overdoses. Controversially, though, this uh, injecting room in North Richmond is located next to a primary school. This report acknowledged the challenges in trying to find an appropriate location to set up a second site, uh, trying to find the right balance between making sure it's accessible to those who need to use the service while also managing the broader expectations of those who use the CBD and it was this that Jacinta Allen, Victoria's Premier, said was a major barrier in deciding to set up that second service. An injecting service trial has less chance of success without the legitimate needs of the community being recognised and addressed and this issue of the location has been a key sticking point. We have been unable to find a location that strikes the right balance. This statewide action plan includes 11 actions, you could say, worth $95 million. I'll take you through some of the main ones. There's $36 million for a new community service health hub in the CBD. It will be located at 244 Flinders Streets, opposite Flinders Street Station, and it will be ready by 2026. There's $9.4 million for a wraparound health and support services at the hub, $21 million towards increased outreach services, and $7.2 million for hydromorphine treatment. This will be a Victoria first. There'll be enough for 60 people with severe heroin addiction to trial this medicinal approach over two years. There's been plenty of reaction to today's announcement. The Victorian Greens have slammed the state government's decision, while the opposition believe it's the right move not to go ahead with the service. They've criticised the state government for what they say has been four years of inaction. They also say the government's uh, statewide action plan doesn't go far enough. Drug and alcohol use across our state is rising, not falling. And yet the government has wasted four years, wasted more than $40 million, needlessly put businesses, residents and visitors to our great city through uncertainty that this indecision by this government has created. Premier Jacinta Allen has completely ruled out opening up any other safe injecting room sites across Victoria. The only one uh, that will be in the state will remain at North Richmond and there will be some extra support services attached to that moving forward.